What's up guys, this is Jay Bomley here and I just came back from my second ever uh, Pokemon TCG League Cup and what a, it's amazing experience for me because um, it's actually, well the first one I've actually been to it was I scrubbed out but this one with the new format that just kicked in it's been a lot of fun playing this deck which I was about to show you um, I went, I, I made top 8 cut um, I went 3 and 2 uh, five rounds, I went three and two. I faced a lot of Charizards. One Weezing deck, which I can't beat for some reason. Uh, the Weezing deck and also a uh, Zoark uh, Persian deck, which I found really... Uh, it's actually pretty good. It's a pretty good deck. I, I've seen that in action when... Because my round ended quicker. So, and then that matchup between that player and the other player took a bit longer so I was able to watch Zoark and Persian in action and from what I see it's actually pretty good um, but anyways turn round one I face a Charizard deck Russian Charizard with Jirachis um, I drew horribly and I lost I had to march out of myself because I had nothing in hand that could help me for my next turn so I marshadowed and marshadowed into junk. So that was that. The round ended so fast. And round two. Round two, what did I play? Round two. Oh, I played another Charizard deck. So round two, I played another Charizard. Um, I believe it was also with Jirachis. I, I beat him. Uh, a close matchup though. And I was able to pull out uh, Faded Memory, but I think I was able to Coco GX for game, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, game 3, I played Weezing. I honestly hate that deck, but no, it, it's a really good deck because it's an anti-meta deck. You can use it for against like, you know, a lot of stuff. Charizard, Jirachi, uh, Picarom, because it's it's like a spread damage deck with Shrine, so uh, there's a lot of GX, GX decks out there, and that's a really good deck. So that deck also made top 8, uh, the Weezing deck, and that was round 3. I was 1 and 2 then, I won my next 2, so the next round I played the Zoroark Persian, which I was able to beat. Uh, turn 2, I... I let loose. Let loose is such an important card in this meta, um, especially if you go turn one. It cripples your hand, uh, your opponent's hand, and you know you, you can just win from decreasing the hand size. But in most cases, or especially for me, when I play opponents and I let loose them, they somehow get a Lily or Tapu Lele, and you know. But I mean, it, it's. It's a really good card to have um, let loose. So that one, I was able to get it. She wasn't able to get all the Zoarks out, or any in, in that case. She had she had a Muck, uh, which I was able to Guzma and uh, kill it. She had Zoras, um, another Alolan Grimer, and a Persian. Yeah, Persian GX. Zora, uh, Zora, the baby one, and a lowland muck. So that was that. I I was able to win that one. Uh, my my peak around was just full blitzing, full blitzing, full blitzing, um, and then let's see. And then last round I played. Another. What did I play? Charizard, another Charizard, which I beat. Weezing. Oh no no no! The Persian was uh, the last round, round five. Uh, round four. Sorry, round four was a. I don't know what he was specifically playing because he had a Zora GX, the lightning guy, um, and some 
and a Jirachi, but he didn't have anything else on the board. It, it was just Zora and a Jirachi, which he was still wishing for something, but I don't know what he was playing. Um, he had six prizes. I took all of them by that time. I still didn't know what he was playing, but that was that. So round one, two, three, four, five, last round. If I lost that last round, I wouldn't have made top eight. Um, but I beat that Zorark Persian. So that's that. Uh, top eight. So the person that the the player that beat me in the first round, he went four o one. Um, so I played him because it's eight versus first versus the eighth place. So I played him again and. It was actually close. I won. He he won two games. I won one game. Um, I think I could have won the first game because I screwed up. So I had four Pokemon on bench. I had a Marshadow in hand, Tapu Koko GX, um, and something. But I was supposed to put the Marshadow first. Because I couldn't Coco for anything anyways. So, oh no, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. So I had three on bench. I had Picrom in hand, um, Marshadow and Tapu Coco. He had a Reshiram Charizard on play and active with like, I think it was four energies or five, four or five. I think it was four. So I mistakenly put the Picrom onto the bench which clogged up one space because I was supposed to go um, Tapu Koko and then switch it on to the active and then Marshadow. I was supposed to Marshadow to try to uh, try to draw into an Electro Power so I can knock out his Charizard. Uh, I'm pretty sure he had five or four. It was one Electro Power or something away from knocking it out. But I accidentally put down the Pikarom onto the bench so I clogged up the last spot. So I wasn't able to, so, you know, if I put the Coco down, I had no more space for Marshadow, so I lost that round. Uh, it would have been closer than it would be, um, but anyways, that was that. So, the new Beast Ring, uh, League Cup promo, it looks pretty nice. Um, and this is my deck, I'll show you my deck right now. Uh, so 12 energies, I'll start with the energies first. Um, I'll move this back. So this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve energies. I'm I'm thinking about switching some of the cards in this deck. Uh, I made some adjustments based off of wheezing because um, I put put in Stealth Hood and also put an Ace Roller. Ace Roller, I love it in this deck. Uh, but I'll tell you guys in a little bit. So this is the monster lineup. So there's Two Pika Roms. Um, Self-explanatory. I, I wanted to make this to be a Turbo Rom to make it uh, as speedy as possible to get, you know, three energies on this guy, uh, full blitz into another three energies on something else could be another Pika Rom or Zora, GX. Um, but you know, I. Because the format right now, it used to be, you know, uh, the green search Charizard was a popular deck, and I think it still is. Um, so with me trying to push the pace, it, I think it would have helped a little bit. Um, but I tried this deck just to see if it's any good. Um, it did pretty decent though, but I think I would change a few cards around to to see if I can like you know make it a more consistent deck. So two Picaroms. I have two Zoras. These are staples in a deck. Um, helps you move Pokemon off and on to the bench, into the active. Um, so this is actually a really good card too because if you have a Picarom in the active and you full blitz. You know how you can take three energies, put into one bench Pokemon. You guys should put into Zero Aura, um, especially if you don't. If you're facing a Reshiram uh, Charizard deck, you really don't want to go into two Picaroms, especially if they can lock both out. They have Guzmas, right? Um, whereas if you have Zero Aura, 
Picarom and something else, they have to knock three Pokemon out to get game. So if you have Pikachu Zekrom and you full blitz into their Charizard, they take 150. They I, I don't think they play I seen a deck on Limitless TCG. They don't play um any healing cards. They could play Mill Tank, but um I actually faced one mill tank Charizard today, but I beat it. I, I just don't see any other healing cards that they would play. Because it just takes... If you Ace Rolla a Charizard Rushroom with 5 energies on it, you're not going to get it back on. Unless you have a Kiawe, um, which you, got, you have to wait another turn anyways. So that is that. So you take the Rushroom Charizard takes 150. You have this as backup. Um, if they are able to somehow uh, knock out Pikachu, Zekrom, um, which they shouldn't be able to, but if they are, then you can knock them out with Zeraora, GX, and then you have the Tapu Koko for the next game. You you, you don't use any GX uh, attacks in that matchup. Or I, I, I wouldn't, because I would use Tapu Koko for one, and Pikachu, Zekrom, and Zeraora for the other knockout. So, staple. I play two the Denny's GXs. These are staples as well. These are like um, a free Cynthia, but whereas you you can just discard all your cards in your hand and you draw six new cards. Um, these are good, especially if you have two energy cards in hand and you want to set up for Tabo Coco Prism Star. Um, that helps a lot. And it just helps you refresh your hand. And it's not a supporter card, right? So that's that. I play one Tapu Lele GX. I feel like I should play another one just to. Oh. I had I had one. I played the Turbo Run before. Um, I had two Tapu Leles, um, but I just didn't like to start with at the Denny GX or Tapu Lele or Marshadow. Um, obviously, it just clogs your. Um, it's a useless card if if it just if you just start it there on your bench, right? Or act, uh, sorry, active. So I play one. I think I might go back two. I play two Zapdos. Uh, Zapdos is a really important card in this deck. For one, um, it's a one prizer, and you can you can smash into a Charizard uh, Picarom. Oh, sorry, a Charizard Rushroom. What am I saying? You can smash into a Charizard uh, Rushroom for eighty, and then. If you are able to hit for another two uh, eighty, I think that should be. Sorry, I'm bad with math, but one fifty. Yeah, but it, it's close to knock out a restroom, uh, peek around. So Zapdos can do 80, plus a choice band, which is 110, um, plus a Pikachu Zekrom for 150. It's close, I think, and plus an extra power, you can knock it out. Um, I had that in one matchup for Charizard Restroom. I was able to do it. Uh, or, or you can set up with, oh, so this, this is also another way of knocking out Charizard Rushroom. You can smash with Zapdos for one, and then you can use Tapu Koko GX for the GX move. Um, especially if they have only four energies attached. Some Charizard Rushroom players, they're very conservative. They, they put four, maybe five energies onto it. Um, and then they put the last six to ensure gain, but that's a really good way of knocking small stuff down and also damaging the big GX attackers. Coco GX and Coco Prism Star. This is staple. Two more shadows. I think for this deck for it's pretty standard. Because you really want to go let loose first turn, especially if you have if you win the dice roll, that's how you limit your opponents, you know, Ability to come back into the game. Uh, this next card, I feel like I should take it out. 
uh, Absol, I really don't, I, I didn't play it at all um, in this whole five rounds. I did have it out because I had a nest ball, but I feel like it clogs up your bench. For Picorom, you have a lot of stuff that you have. For example, you have Marshadow, which stays on a bench. You have um, Zapdos, you have Tabulele, the Dene GX, and you know, Zeraora and Picorom. You really don't have the space for an Absol. And most decks right now, they uh, the only deck I've seen play Jirachis are the Charizard Rushroom. And they play switches anyways, right? So that gets around Absol. So I might take that out, put something else in. For trainers, I have standard four lilies. Four lilies. And I play three Guzmas. Which is good in this format still while it still lasts, because we all know that it's getting rotated out. Uh two Volkners. So this is good in this matchup or in, in this deck just because first of all it helps you get an energy card when you need it and also you get a um an item card. You can get electro power. Depends on the situation. You can also get, you know, ultra balls, electromagnetic radars. And all that good stuff. I play one Ace Roller. This is what I put in for Weezings and any other stuff that, you know, especially with Charizard Rushroom, not usually they don't play uh, Choice Bands in their deck. So they are able to do 230. Um, and then you can basically Ace Roller or anything else, any damages like Weezing as well. But I lost to Weezing. <laughs> uh, four Ultra Balls. Standard. To get out your Let Loose. More Shadows. And your Coco. GX. And also your um, Prism Star. Coco Prism Star. Two Nest Balls. I feel like I'm going to take these out. For another Electromagnetic Radar. Because your... Well, first of all, let me let me just go to the next card here. So I play two electromagnetic radars as well. These is like an ultra ball, but you get two GX lightning Pokemon. So you can get anything in your deck, basically. Two of them. So ultra ball, you ditch two, you get one card. Any any card you want in your deck. Um, electromagnetic radar is like you ditch two, but you get two GX lightning GX cards, which is amazing, because you can get Pikachu Zekrom, Zeraora GX, the Denny GX, you know, um, Tapu Koko GX. That's basically your whole monster lineup there. So I don't, and I'm going to be taking out Absol anyways, so I don't see a point in need of Nest Balls. Uh, let me see, and I play four energy switches. These are good. Uh, standard in the deck to get energies on the Pika choose Zekrom. Standard for Electro Powers. Two Choice Bands. Standard as well. Uh, helps you get around big stuff. Anything, you know, with that 30 extra damage, that's big. Uh, two Field Blowers. Um, I feel like I'm going to take out one and I might take out Stealthy Hood as well. I have not used this at all in this tournament. I used it once, I touched it for the Weezing, but you know, the, the basic Weezing ability still hits you for 10, 10 damage plus Shrine, so I feel like I'm going to take it out, put something else in. One escape rope, which is good. It's like a Guzma. Uh, especially when you have Zero Aura on your bench with like energy spread out. This is like a, this is like a Guzma, whereas you don't actually have to switch to your own Pokemon, right? One Thunder Mountain staple. 
and a rescue stretcher. I don't feel like I need rescue stretchers at this point. Um, the only time I used it is for a Zapdos uh, to get it back, but other than that, I didn't need it. So that is the deck. I kind of like it. I, I'm going to make some tweaks to it. Um, I might put an Aether Paradise into the deck to have two um, two stadium cards instead of one because the only one I'm playing right now is Thunder Mountain and also gives that extra 30 um, technically it's 30 extra HP onto your Lightning Pokemon um, yeah so that is that once I have the new deck in place, I will definitely let you guys know, but this is actually... If you guys want to try this deck out, I... I it's not bad, it, it's good. But I just find sometimes when you want to draw the cards that you want, it's not... It doesn't go as fast as the actual Turbo ROM, uh, where it plays two Tabeleles, no Absol, um, one less Zapdos, and no nest balls, it just plays electromagnetic radars. Um, it just, I played that for a while, it, it was super fast, but then with the greens search style of Pikachu Zek, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Reshram Charizard, I just feel like maybe I should put in certain stuff into here, like an extra Zapdos to like hit it once. Um, yeah, and the fuel blowers because they play power plants, right? Power plants hurt you, uh, no Pokemon abilities, I believe. So the then a GX, Marshadow, nothing. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about this deck. Give it a try. I think it's really good in this format still, but I'll let you guys also know how the actual Turbo ROM goes as well i'm gonna be playing it on wednesday and yeah but anyways well thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time peace out